Hello there and welcome to the channel. I hope you're keeping safe and well. Well in this video we're just going to go through uh, some of the new features in Logic 10.5 when it comes to opening up a new project. So why don't we just dive into Logic and take a look. Okay, so we've got a couple of options to open up a new project. Okay, the first one is the traditional one. We can go to, uh, Shift Command N. And we've got a choice to uh, open up a software instrument or record audio via mic or, uh, or guitar or bass or create a drummer track. I don't actually do software input monitoring, so I would always turn that off. So I would monitor through UAD control. Okay, so let's start by opening up a software instrument. And now we can create our MIDI track. Or audio track for that matter. Okay, let's close this. I don't want that. Another route is Command N. And what we can do now, we've got this option for live loops. So uh, we can create from a template in effect. So let's click the live loops template. Let's check and make sure I've got all my tempo, key signature correct. So automatically you get uh, the loop packs as well, so you can create your own loops very, very quickly. Let's drag in some drum tracks. So that's an audio track now. Let's have a look at a MIDI one. Let's try this one here. Trying to locate those new tracks. And top left down side we can just do that little drop down and we've got some uh, alternatives that we can use and sample. But we also can create a project from, from a starter grid. So let's have a look at that. I don't need this now. So there you go. Starter grid. Skyline masher. Let's try this one out and see what happens. So this is quite quick, I guess, just to uh, load up. That's probably a lot of information behind this. Okay, so there you have it, a uh, full project already set up so we can sample across these. really good fun so from here obviously you can begin to uh, create your ideas and uh, uh, record these ideas into your main arrange which will be the subject for my next video let's have a quick look at the smart controls we've got uh, uh, remix effects EQ and there's a smart control so some great videos on this I'll put a link to one that I've recently seen also, I know uh, something that I do use quite a lot is importing from other Logic projects. We can also input from live loop grids now. I haven't actually got a live loop grid, but you can see it just opens up a uh, project folder where you can maybe search for your live loop grids elsewhere and import them into your new project. Okay, so thank you for watching. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon because there's more content being uploaded regularly. Bye-bye for now.